Hello, everybody. Welcome to today for the push. Um, you all are doing great so far. We love the encouragement. We love all of the energy that y'all had throughout the first week. Um, so let's keep that rolling throughout the second week of this awesome training group. Um, so I'm Kim Carter, and I've got Danielle McKean here with me. We are going to tag team it today for telling you how to do a getting started right call and how to you know really get those first wins um and first success club points and first customers and things like that for your new coaches um it's a really it's it's kind of a scary time for them as they're starting to share their story and starting to learn about this whole coaching process and so i think the more that you stay in contact with them one-on-one -on -one and just encourage them and assure them that you are here for them, you're here to help them reach their goals, um, that's just gonna give them the confidence that they need to really get this business started. So um, I'm just gonna go through what I do for a Getting Started Right call, and um, then I'm gonna turn it over to Danielle, and she's got some slides that she's gonna share, um, kind of about the same thing, and again, just how she helps her coaches. Um, so first of all, when I have a new coach sign up, I kind of think in my head, okay, is this going to be a discount coach? A hobby coach potentially or a potential business builder and some of the stuff you know from your interactions that you've already had with them throughout your challenge group and throughout the relationship that you've already built with them um, and you're going to talk about this more you know on your getting started right call um, but regardless of what category they fall into I send every single new coach even discount coaches send them the new coach email and I know um, I have my own it's very similar to the one that Becky um, has shared with us time and time again, and that's in our Diesel Nation, you know, our big Diesel Nation coaching handbook is what I call it. Um, <laughs> but I share that new coach email with everybody. If they're just a discount coach and they don't want to do anything with it, that's totally fine. That's up to them. Um, but I have been surprised multiple times, and people that I have thought were just going to be a discount coach have sent back answers to questions and have actually taken the steps. Um, that I asked them to take in this new coach email to get their business started and to kind of get jump started into training. And so that has surprised me a few times. So um, just send it to everybody, <laughs> send it to every single new coach. And in that email, I also include um, the big, the new coach guide that uh, Christina and Becky just redid for us. It's excellent. Um, I've kind of edited it just a little bit, you know, to be specific to my team, which I think you should, you know, most of us do for our own teams as well. But it's the same exact um, new coach kind of getting started right guide. Um, so I include that in there. I have them go over that guide. I have them do their seven day quick start. And I have them look at the online office training and just go over the getting started tab and the coach tabs. I have them do all of that before scheduling a call. Once that's done, I schedule a getting started right call with them. The reason that I do that and have them kind of go through a little bit of training on their own first is because I want to be sure that they really do, you know, want to coach in some capacity before getting on one-on-one -on -one calls with them. Um, I just feel like this, you know, kind of tells me that they're actually going to put some skin in the game and actually going to take some action. Um, and that, you know, kind of justifies getting time to have one-on-one -on -one calls with me. So when we do get on the phone, one of the biggest things that I talk about is their why. And I get them to dig deep and it's going to take some talking. It's going to take asking a lot of questions, personal questions, you know, talking about their family, if they have kids, um, their jobs, you know, just how happy they are in their current situation versus what they want long term out of this. So I kind of talk about it in a long term perspective and then break it down into short, you know, short term, more attainable goals as well. Because if you just set them out on this path for, you know, replacing a career that's took them 15 years to build, I mean, that's kind of a pretty crazy big goal. And that's scary. So you've got to break it down into some smaller steps. Um, I talk about the three vital behaviors, of course. I talk about Success Club kind of generally, you know, I tell them just what it is. Um, obviously they'll get more details in training, um, but I tell them what success club is, how important it is to building a business, 
and just kind of go over really briefly how they get the Success Club points. And a lot of that's in that seven day quick start guide as well. I also just touch on success starters really quick so that they know right off the bat that if they want to build this business, um, they need to hit Success Club five, you know, three months in a row, like right from the get go and just get them started on the right foot. Um, let's see, other things I talk about, just I quickly talk about challenge groups, you know, running two per month. Usually this is starting up a free challenge group um, and jumping in on our team's challenge group for the month. Um, not necessarily like running their own challenge group right off the bat. I think that's too overwhelming for them in my opinion. I think that's just too much right off the bat. <laughs> um, I know I didn't do that. I would have been scared to death. So I think the free challenge groups, like a free clean eating or a free, you know, abs challenge or something like that is great for them first getting started um, so that they have something that they can get their network of people involved in that's not like, hey, buy something from me right off the bat. It gives them a way to really build relationships and build trust with the network of people that they already have. Um, and it gives them something easy to invite to. And then from there, they can start inviting those people into the true, you know, true challenge groups where it's, you know, Shakeology and a program kind of thing. Um, I also have them go ahead and start thinking of and write up an email um, to send to all of their friends and family. I think that's so important. Um, I was scared to do it. You know, I think all of us probably were because it's a new scary business venture that you're going on and you you don't know how everybody's going to react um but the reality is that i think most of most of your friends and family are going to be really supportive and if they want to jump in excellent it gives them the opportunity without you having to um you know just feel weird about talking to, <laughs> to your best friends about it i don't really know a better way to put that but sometimes it's kind of strange talking to some of the people that are closest to you um, so shoot everybody an email and just let them know what you're doing and invite them to go on this journey with you and see where that takes you. Um, I think that is really an important thing to do. Um, that's the main, really the main thing that I, that I talk about. Um, I, I get their goals and try to stay focused on what their goals are versus your goal. I know all of us have you know, these rank goals in the back of our heads and we want to build a diamond and we want to build a two star, we want to build a five star, you know, and so we kind of grab onto our own goals for what we want for these people, but focus on their goals because I think helping them reach their goals is going to help them to realize that they can really trust you and that you're on their side and that you're going to, you know, push them as hard as they want you to push them basically. Um, and let's see. I guess the other thing that I just wrote down to point out is just assure them that you are there for them. Um, keep in contact with them. I do one-on-one -on -one calls every week with my new coaches through the first, at least the first 30 days. Um, sometimes we go longer. It just kind of depends on the situation. Um, before they get a one-on-one -on -one call, I have them send either their power of three or their uh, business activity tracker to me for the week so that I know that they're actually being accountable and doing stuff. Um, and like I said, I just, I just let them know that I'm, I'm here for them. Another good thing that I always kind of like to mention is ask, ask their permission to push them. Um, so that, you know, if they are slacking off and you do kind of send them a message, Hey, are you still doing your inviting? I haven't seen anything, you know, Hey, are you getting your posts up? Whatever it may be, you've already, you know, asked them for permission to push them. So that's just kind of another little little pointer that I have that has helped um, recently. So that's really about all that I have. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. So I'm gonna turn it over to Danielle. I know she's got some of the same stuff, but probably from a different perspective too. So take it over. Yes, hello everyone. I'm excited to share with you how I help new coaches get their first win. I love this part. Everything that Kim said, I'm kind of re, re um, Stating it, but just a different way and, and different idea. So I'm going to screen share with you. If I could figure it out. <laughs> okay, little slideshow that I made. Okay, 
Okay, so helping your coaches get their first win. It's really, like she said, being their biggest cheerleader, being there for them, holding them accountable to their goals. And so, like she mentioned, I need to know up front, are you just a discount? Are you working to get your products paid for, which is three people, uh, you know, family and friends, whoever it is, I need to know. Business builder, are willing to build a side income while getting healthy and fit. And this way, you know, I can hold them accountable. I need to know because I don't want to push someone that doesn't want to be pushed. And so I truly believe, you know, we got to love everyone where they are. But if they have big goals, they need to be held accountable and mentored with setting goals. We can't just throw them to, you know, the new coach training call. We really need to mentor them. So a couple things I do, like she said also, is one-on-one -on -one weekly calls. This has really helped build a connection, um, a relationship with my coaches. I'm getting to know them. And then through text messaging them, it's also a personal touch um, that's added in. And we got to get away from Facebook sometimes and not just rely on that. And it shows them this is a real business. So you know, I'm, I'm really trying to build a relationship. This is a relationship building business. So we need to really mentor uh, our coaches. So a couple things we talk about on these mentoring calls every week is goals. And I am writing down their goals. I'm very organized with my lists. Uh, this is one of my lists for my power hour. I am seeing who is working to get success club. So we go over success club. We go over the vital behaviors. We're talking a lot about how their health and fitness is because as you know, if, if new coaches are on their health and fitness, they're going to be more eager to share. They're going to be more motivated to share. I know when my A game is on, I want to share this. So I make sure new coaches are getting results, loving Shakeology. I'm always bringing that up. Uh, the success starters, it is vital to bring that up. I mean, who doesn't love incentives? So winning their free summit ticket is, you know, the big goal here. I'm always stressing three months. You know, that is the goal. Um, we are talking about their upcoming challenge group, and they are running it alongside me. So I'm going to talk about that in the next couple slides. Um, you know, we're talking about how to invite sharing their story, uh, just getting real and writing it all out. So this creates, again, you know, connection, relationship, support, accountability, and action. So these calls are vital. You know, I write them down in my calendar, and it's a must every week that I connect with my coaches. So if you want to build this, you want to, you know, really take off, get to Diamond, Star Diamond, and, you know, duplicate, have your coaches do this, you really got to get on the phone and, and take this serious as a real business with mentoring your coaches. So I utilize this Facebook Messenger um, threads. This has really helped my business. I've taken off with this the past couple months, and it has brought a lot of success for getting those new coaches their first win. They feel that you know they're not in this alone. They have other new coaches that are also cheering them on, supporting their posts. We are sharing questions. We are sharing our life. We're sharing downs and you know triumphs and all that great stuff. So just to give you an example, this first one, let's rock and roll new coaches. This was in January and a lot of coaches from December kind of fell off. So I rolled them into this group. And, you know, if you just want to read it real quick, it is just saying, you know, happy Saturday coaches. Okay. So I want to lay some new coach stuff down. I want to run your first group with you and give you a day to start promoting. If you're currently running your first group, that is okay. I want to start pre-planning and pre-thinking the next group. The third Monday of every month, you will start a challenge group. I will do it with you until you get comfortable. So the promotion starts the very end of the month until the group starts. The goal is success club five with helping three people with a challenge pack each. The theme of my group will be spring fix for all. This will welcome anyone who wants um, a healthy fix for spring. Think spring cleaning uh, and getting ready to feel good for spring break. Share your story, what you love about beach body coaching and your challenge so far. Start writing it up and I will approve. Take a nice pic of you, uh, your progress and an eye catching photo, maybe with some words on it. You can edit pics in picmonkey.com. Let's talk. So there you go. I'm already like giving them on a silver platter. This is the next group. I'm going to run it with you. This is the goal. They're all in it together. I make sure they all friend each other and they support each other's posts. So here you go. The, uh, the next let's rock and roll. This is for February for new coaches. Hey ladies, I want, I wanted to get 
I wanted to group you guys together because you guys are starting out on the same track to health, fitness, and financial freedom. Friend each other and let's support one another on our journey. Day one is up and rock the basics. So these are coaches just in training right now. So I'm starting to uh, get them to support one another, to get the hang of these threads. Um, and in the other thread, you know, that was uh, after they've already been in coach training. So this, you know, went on for a while. Um, but this creates accountability, guys, with new coaches on the same journey with the same goals. This has been a huge game changer, I think, in my business. And I don't know where, I think they talked about this at the New Leader Conference and even before then, but um, this really has worked for my brand new coaches. Scripts, I literally hand them, you know, I hand them the groundwork. I hand them what has already been, um, you know, put together from other successful coaches. I don't want them recreating the wheel. I don't want them wondering what do I say for objections. I don't want them being discouraged. I want them literally to feel comfortable with objections because they're going to be getting a lot of them. I hand them how to form, uh, how to form just customers. I hand them, you know, a customer to coach conversion on what to say an example. So. They don't feel like they, they just don't know what to say. And that's a, a big concern with new coaches. Well, I feel like I have to know it all. And I'm like, no, you don't need to know it all. I'm giving you everything you need. Just read through them. You can literally change a couple things, make them your own and copy and paste. It's really that simple. And so I tell them, you know, if you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no, go for no. So you know, you're going to be putting your challenge group out there. You're going to be staying consistent with three to five posts out there. You have to realize that everyone's going to say yes. Not everyone's going to like and comment on your stuff, but you have to go for a no. And it makes the transition a little bit easier. Um, and I tell them to share their story and other successes in the forming process with objections um, and then customer to coach. It's really important that we're not just stating kind of facts about, um, you know, all this information that we are sharing. Um, you know, I know how you feel. I have felt this way and I have found. So a lot of times when they're talking to people, they need to relate to them. They need to share their story and other successes. So that's another way to kind of recruit new challengers and coaches. The coming out post is really big. This is what Kim mentioned, and I love this. I do this with all new coaches. I want them to literally get their story together. I want them to write what they love about the challenge group aspect, what they love about coaching, and I want them to send in a bulk email to all their close family and friends. So here you go. This is one of my new coaches. She started about a month and a half ago. And she had Success Club 13 within her first month in January, and she is now Success Club 13 in February. We did everything that Kim and I have talked about. So she is a great example of starting out the right way. If I didn't get on the phone with her doing weekly calls, if I didn't send her exactly what Kim said, if I didn't do you know, everything I've mentioned, I don't think this success would have happened so fast. So here I am mentoring her, holding her hand, cheering her on and supporting her. And she is doing everything that I said um, and implementing it. That's the most important thing, not being a storage of information that I'm giving to her. She is going out and saying, what next? What next? And we keep setting the goals and this helps her to succeed a lot faster. Okay, so you just gotta be their biggest cheerleader. You gotta cheer them on during the ups and downs. Remember when you first started and how you wanted to be treated. It's about walking alongside of them and helping them, guys. So I hope this training has helped you. And if you guys have any questions, leave them below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.